Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, uh, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut. Now, if you want to know why the Yankees, why the New York Yankees have been eliminated from the playoff situation, they're going home in about seven days, you need to watch this video and, of course, subscribe. Uh, but here we go. The Yankees will miss the playoffs the first time since 2016. Uh, they have seven games left, like I said. There have been a, there are a lot of reasons why, quite frankly. Let me just read you part of an article and quotes from the captain, uh, Aaron Judge, from ESPN. Yankees missed playoffs for the first time since 2016. The end has officially arrived for this year's New York Yankees. They've been sent off to the Phantom Zone for a year. Then to be seen again. While well, a bevy of key injuries and a season's worth of offensive struggles long made it seem that their run of six straight postseason appearances was likely going to be halted. That conclusion merciful, mercifully, mercifully <laughs> and officially arrived on a soggy Sunday afternoon at Yankee Stadium. Under a steady, relentless rainfall amid, and amid powerful gusty winds brought on by nearby tropical storm Ophelia, the Yankees lost the Arizona Diamondbacks 7-1, falling out of the content out of contention for the American League's final wild card spot. They're supposed to play on Monday because the Diamondbacks are still in it in the in the National League uh, in their wild card run, so they're going to play today. You'll see. So doing a lot of raining here, but quote it's from Aaron Boone: "It sucks. That's what you work hard toward all year all year round." The winter time, spring training, on through the season for an opportunity to play in October and compete for a championship. So the reality of that not being in play sucks. Oh, really? Yankees captain and outfielder Aaron Judge said he plans to take a vocal and proactive role this offseason and ensuring the organization trends back to where it was prior to this season. Quote, It's not, not going to happen overnight. So we got to hit the ground running, especially when the season ends. We've got a lot of work on, a lot of things to change, and a lot of stuff going on around here that needs to be fixed. Oh, it's funny you should mention that. That seems to be, uh, you know, a very good goal for the offseason. But we're going to talk about the reason of why the Yankees are, are going home. As what some of the, those things were, Judge declined to answer. I don't know. He doesn't know. He's the same guy that stubbed his toe in the, bull, the Dodgers bullpen and was out for, what, 60 games? It was the most mysterious toe injury in the history of sports. He That's about as mysterious an injury as we've seen around these parts since Ike Davis. Remember Ike Davis with the Mets? He added that he had some ideas of changes that need to come, and he plans to work with key decision makers throughout the majors, or throughout the major minor league parts of the organization to ensure they take hold. You are a player. You are not a general manager, Aaron. Aaron cannot can barely manage himself, let alone be able to dictate what kind of team he's going to be playing with. Okay, this is the same guy that has come out in support of Aaron Boone, who Yankee fans have railed against for quite a few years. We're not happy that he got a contract extension, I guess, last offseason by Brian Cashman, general manager, and the owner of the Yankees, Hal Steinbrenner. So right off the bat, <clears throat> they're starting out from a place that is basically garbage, same shit, different day. Here's some calls or don't. One of the many reasons why this team uh, is going home. You know, he's blowing kisses at Yankee fans in, in Oakland. I feel like this, t this club right here can win. It's kind of one of those things where we have to turn the page and move on. Cliché, cliché, cliché. Obviously, we have like six or seven games left. And so we have to finish strong with those and show that what we can do on the field and move on from there and look forward to next year. This is about, you know, every cliché in the book that these guys are taught to say to the media. But the thing about Rendon, one of the reasons why they, they, they're going home is they've been injured. He's been injured all year long. He missed half a season. Half a season. Infielder, DJ LeMayu, a veteran who has played for the Yankees the past five seasons. Said improvements he has seen in recent weeks by many of the team's young clubs give him belief in what the organization's future can be. 
Well, one thing that need that didn't happen was that LeMayu did not play well. In fact, he looks like he's over the hill. Sorry, that's how it's, I look at it as a baseball fan. Uh, he's not the player that he once was. So since he's not the player he once was, that production that they expected to get from his part of the lineup and his part, his spots in the lineup weren't there. And that is something you got to keep in mind. He did not owe up to his contract, too. He got a four-year contract from the Yankees a few years ago, and he's not honored that. Not honored it. Now, but the biggest reason, the biggest reason that the New York Yankees are going home, this is their captain, Aaron Judge, who signed a massive contract with the Yankees in the offseason last year. And I mentioned a couple of things about Aaron He's 31 years old, I guess. He's getting up there in age. He signed this massive contract with the Yankees. 31 years old this year. So he's been with the Yankees since 2016. He's been a regular, everyday player since 2017. In that time, he has played a total of 803 games. In 2017, he played 155 games. In 2021, he played 148 games. In 2022, he played 157 games. All the other years, he played less than the years that he played. In 2018, 112 games. 2019, 102 games. 2020, obviously with the lockout, lockdown, only played half a season for the, for the Yankees. 28 games at a 60-game schedule. In 2023, this year, first year of his contract, First year is as the Yankee captain, 101 games. He's going to miss close to 60 games this season. And if you want to know why the Yankees are going home, that's the single reason. Because he was so good last year, he carried that team. The reason they don't win the World Series is because there's nobody close to sort of be his equal in the lineup or equal on that team. The only guy that's close to it is Jared Cole, who all likely is finally going to win a uh Cy Young Award this year, but the number one reason that the Yankees um, are not going to postseason, this particular team, is because Aaron Judge missed, missed 60 games. Uh, that is not a good start to a contract. This is not a good start, obviously, with, with any kind of, if, he, if he's not playing, they're not winning. It's as simple as that. I mean, if you go over his numbers from last year, 62 homers, 131 RBIs, 425 on base percentage, 686 slugging percentage, 133 runs, 1,111 OPS, OPS plus of 211. His OPS plus this year is 173, but he missed 60 games. Uh, this Yankee team is, uh, what, one game over 500? With seven games left to play, they could finish on the 500. It'll be the first time they've had a losing season season since 20, since 1992. You're talking about 31 years since they've had a losing record. The first year of Aaron Judge as captain, the first year on, on, on this contract, and and they're not going to postseason. Uh they there is no uh, accountability at the very top in terms of the ownership. The ownership will not make the, ch the necessary changes that they need to make to make themselves a better franchise and a better organization and obviously a better team. Hal Steinberg refuses to fire Brian Cashman. The Yankee franchise has not been to the World Series since 2009. The uh, Aaron Boone who was given a very good team, has not been able to get to the World Series with this group. They fired Joe Girardi because he said he couldn't hack it. But meanwhile, Girardi was able to get his team as far as he could further than any Aaron Boone team could and has. Aaron Boone's been Yankee manager for six years. And they've not been able to, to get over the hump. Um, You know, I mean, this is... I mean, it's just practicality. You make changes after six years. You make changes after five years. You know, especially... And here's the thing about the Yankee uh, farm system. <clears throat> they made such a big deal out of Anthony Volpe. He did not play well. He was very average to mediocre. He struck out a lot. 
did not steal as many bases. He was talked about for, for months coming into the season as a guy that stole a lot of bases. He didn't steal that many bases for a guy that, that's as quick as he is and fast as he is. He doesn't get on base a lot. His defense is average at best. Uh, There's all kinds of talk they want to move him to second. So he's not really the heir apparent to Derek Jeter. Uh, this farm system took a major hit when Jason Dominguez, you know, obviously had to get that Tommy John surgery. He's going to be out probably the whole season next year. So that, I mean, where are they finding this talent? Are they going to go after Otani? Hal doesn't have the, the wherewithal in terms of the fortitude of spending the money. You know, just to have a bat there. And it seems that, in my opinion, and I think a lot of Yankee fans feel this way, that uh, they don't seem to have any kind of want to bring in left-handed hitters. All Cashman wants to do is bring in right-handed hitters. And, you know, not for nothing, some of the trades that Cashman has done, a Cashman has done, Cashman, I'll get it right, Cashman, right Cashman, no matter. Brian Cashman has made some really lousy trades over the last few years. One of them being uh, Jordan Montgomery, who has pitched really well. He pitched really well for the Cardinals and pitched extremely well for the for the Rangers since going there and uh, since the uh, trade deadline. And who did he pick up? Harrison Bader. He just let him walk to go uh, to another team. He just let him just put him on waivers. That was it. And they were talking about wanting to sign him to a long term deal. Very, very strange moves by this particular uh, general manager. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about Judge being the number one reason why this team is not going to postseason? If you're a Yankee fan, write to me and let me know what you think about that. And of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.